Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Weaving Tides. Last time we left off, we made it here to our first dungeon, I believe. We even have like, uh, dungeon keys and stuff, like the boss key and... Oh, hello. I didn't see you down there. So yeah, let's uh, finish exploring the dungeon here, see what else we can get. Um... How does one get to that giant... Oh, yeah, we can probably grab this and pull. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I probably got a... And then stitch you here, right? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Neato. Yeah, I saw all these treasure chests over here, and I was like, I want those. What do What do you have in you? Is this really just this many treasure chests for free, basically? Uh, let's go ahead and put that right there, so you have somewhere to safe to land. Like, wow, this this is just a big old treasure room. Okay. I'm- I'm- I'll take it. I'm not mad about this. It was remarkably easy to get in here, so... Neutral ribbon. Yay. Cool, cool. Wow, so just a lot of chests. Just an absolute glut of chests. This one probably has a boss key? Oh no, it has an enemy! Okay, so there there were- I was like, which one of these is gonna have an enemy in it, right? It was you. Because they can't all have something good. Maybe this one's the boss, uh... Key. Mm, that is, indeed, a piece of the boss key. Or... I guess it's just a temple key. It's not really a boss key, per se. Alright, so we've been over there. Now we go this way. And stitch you in there. Alright, let's go. What do we got? Oh! Okay, you've been tangled up. Okay, they didn't finish the job though, but I will. There. Uh, oh, hi. Uh huh. You need three to get rid of you. That's uh dangerous. Uh bop. Bop. Gotcha. Uh can you come out of that corner please so I can actually finish you? Thank you. Here we go. Dunzo. And what do we get? Uh a bunch of you. I'm building up a pretty good amount of these. Hatamashio. That's what I always think of when I when I collect a bunch of little currency like that. Uh huh. So yeah, we got we got some of you. Well, till the end of days, we will embrace our protector who spun our homelands and granted us shelter. Okay. Each of these talk. Amidst the dark waves, the goddess arose to create the weavers. Um, and pull this last one. In the beginning, we stumbled lost and defenseless through a never-ending ocean of menace. Okay, so... In the beginning, everyone was crazy lost, then the, uh... We'll never forget the people that created, uh... Until the end of days, we'll embrace our protector who spun our homelands and granted us shelter. And then, uh, weavers, right? Amidst the dark waves, the goddess arose to create the weavers. So, the weavers are the people you're protecting, or are you just talking about the goddess? I, I guess the goddess created the world, and then the weavers... ...upkeep it, maybe? Maybe. Uh, well, I can't go that way. I can't go that way. Uh, oh! Wait, I destroyed that stuff this time? Hey, this is my stuff you're messing with. I'm the only one who's allowed to wreck it. Sorry, Twill. We just came here to talk to you. Please don't run off again. Oh, what a weird creature. I like your feet. Thanks? I like your scarf. Uh-huh, you do? Okay, there's something you wanted from me. You want to travel to the Spun Forests. Mori told me you can open the path to the Tidal Vortex for us. She also mentioned something about trash in her tent. So will you help us, please? Hmm, I'll help you if you help me. First, I got a little challenge for you. You look pretty smart to me. Solve this puzzle before I say stop. It's easy. 
Ready? Go! Uh, puzzle, huh? Uh, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Stop, man, you gotta be faster. Try again. Okay. Uh, huh? And boom, there we go. Ah, man, you did it. Well then. Okay. So this is progress. I don't want to go this way then. We want to avoid this path. Also, I'm guessing I tried to, didn't I try to destroy some pots like this in an earlier area and it didn't work? Could have sworn I tried that. Let's go over here though. Wait, I can't? I can't go that way? Okay, well, how am I supposed to get over there then? Eh. Maybe we come back that way. Yeah, this is the direction you went off in after all. Hey, you promised you'd help us. Yeah, yeah, I will or I won't. We'll see. Here, take that thing behind the door here. There's a big gate to a treasure chamber in the middle of this temple. Open it for me. We can talk about me helping. Okay. Ooh, there's another one too. Okay, cool. And key piece. And what's the other thing I got? Uh, ooh, that's just a bunch of thread essence. Okay. Uh, well, I want to go over here. Uh, what is the point in going over here, actually? I don't know. But I want to get over here. Oh, that was just a shortcut back. Oh, I thought that was going to be something cool and secret. Fine. Okay, now that's one of the thingies we gotta pull, right? Yes. And go ahead and pin you there. Okay, we got like a- we got a boss. Oh, you actually got it open. Here we go! Alright, what's gonna happen in here? I imagine a boss, right? That's what my head's telling me. Hello? Hey, what's this? Wow, this is old. Did you see the inscription? Looks like some kind of curse. Huh, who even believes in stuff like that? And in here... Uh-oh. Oh, cool. It's a sarcophagus. Whoa, look at that. Stay away, this could be dangerous. You don't tell me what to do. What? Whoa! Oh boy. You look pretty cool. Okay, boss fight. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, well, I already need an HP. Uh, huh. What are we supposed to do, I wonder? Uh, tie this down. Tie this down, for sure. Yeah, okay, so we're supposed to tie down the pieces of your tail, it looks like? Uh-huh. Okay, there's my HP that I need. Alright. Uh... Ow. So I probably gotta dodge that when you do your little drop. Yeah, and then we tie more of your tail down. Here we go. Cool. Uh-huh. Oh god. Yeah, there you go. This reminds me of a boss fight in another game, but I can't think of what it is. Oh no. We need HP. HP, please. Let's just take the opportunity now to heal up, I think. No, you don't. Okay. Alright, come on. I just don't want to die here. Aha! Come here, give me that tail, boy. Huh. And then we do you, right? Gotcha! That was neat! That was really neat! That was super cool! Wow! Haha, <laughs> we beat that old geezer. Get lost and don't come back! Tass could have gotten hurt because of your recklessness. You're such a bonehead, Twill. Sure am! Must be why I still can't get through my thick skull while you ran away that day, right? Oh, is that what it is? Did you abandon her? 
Don't make this about you. Hey, it's fine. I didn't get hurt, so please stop fighting. Are you alright? I didn't exactly ask you to save me, but I feel like I owe you one now. I'll help. I am not doing this for his sake, though. I'll do it for you, Tass. I want to pack some of my stuff, so meet me at the Tidal Vortex south of Larea, okay? Once we go down there, we won't be able to come back, so finish whatever business you got around here. Smell you later. Alright, Gary Oak. Got it. Thanks, Twill, and welcome to the team. Cool. Cool. Oh, and we get a free pass out of here. Thank you for that. Uh, or, or wait, no, that might not be a free pass out of here. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a free teleport out here, like... Yeah, but no. We do get a big reward for this, though. A lot of this stuff. So I can go back and buy a lot of the junk at that, uh, shop. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. And they said it was, uh... South of Larea? South of Larea. Wait. Hi? Uh... I can't get out. The door isn't unlocked. Was there a way to teleport out of here? Because the door... is closed. This was just a boss fight. Oh! Oh! Okay, well I'm glad they didn't let me leave. Oh, that's a full heart container. Oh. Oh. I thought we were only gonna get like six hearts, so I was like, there's no way they're gonna give us full heart containers, right? I thought we would get all of our hearts from heart pieces, but maybe that ribbon expands as time goes on. It looked like it only would hold six before, but... Yeah, whatever. Okay. Boom. 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 Oh, is this that area I was talking about that we that I wanted to come out of before? Maybe not. I'm happy we have more hearts now, though. Yep, yep, this is that area. This is that area. It's gone now. Okay, cool. I still never did, uh... The Ribbon Festival in Larea has probably started already. Tass, we should stop by and join the celebration. I know. I know. I want to do some other stuff first. There's, uh, still some stuff over here I never did. Uh... Not here. It's down here, right? I'm thinking now with my newfound abilities, maybe I can do this? My newfound intelligence? I don't know. But the main problem with this is I don't know the pattern that they want me to stitch. Hmm. Like, the only one I c the only thing I can really guess is, uh... Let's try... Let's try connecting it to all of these. Ow. Like that? I'm thinking what needs to happen though is I need to destroy these cactuses, right? So that I can put it over, but maybe this is just what it wants. Maybe it just wants me to make a wheel. Which... I'm hoping that's what it wants. No, it looks pretty, but it's not the correct thing. And there's like, lore in there! I want lore! There's also a vibrate sound around here that lets me know that there's a secret nearby. Hmm... Yeah, I just don't know what it wants from me. What do you want from me? And nothing in there gives me a hint about what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Hmm. And it said that we need to complete everything that we want to complete before we leave here, so I must be able to do this now, right? Hmm. I tried going around here and making a perfect circle. That didn't work. I mean... I just don't know. Uh... Yeah, I really don't know. 
I have no idea what it expects of me here. I don't suppose there's... something around here that, like, lets me know? Hmm. That may just be something we miss. At least it seems like it's it's just the... It's just lore. It's not like a health upgrade or something, but... I'm still sad because I want to get that. But, yeah, I have no... I'm, I'm probably just missing something here. That lets me know what to do. Hmm. I'll try one more thing. Let's try doing it all under, like this. Maybe having part of it above and part of it under is bad. And they don't want you to do that. So, let's try that. We'll see how it goes. Making another wheel. I'm really just guessing here, but I don't know. I don't feel like I'm getting a lot to go on. Or uh, the uh, solution to this isn't immediately obvious to me. Yeah, no. Like I said, it looks cool, but that's about it. All right, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do for that one. Let's just go. I've wasted enough time over there. Uh, out of here. Maybe we'll get some new ability or something that lets us know. Like, maybe, maybe Twill can destroy that stuff. Well, no, Twill doesn't seem like she's gonna join until, uh... Um... We get to that vortex place. Mm, let's pet you. And only pat. No brush. You don't like brush. Pats. Ah, whoops. I was I was mashing A, so I skipped through that. Whoopsie. <laughs> I was mashing A because that's the button you use to pat. Kissy, do you guys say something new? So I assume you found that trash monster. Well, yeah, I did. Thanks to you. And guess what? We fought off an ancient guardian. It was a close call, but we came out on top. Right, so that means you're headed towards the spun forest now. Take care and enjoy the journey. Okay, what do you say? Look at you, Cynthia. Your quilt patch turned out so nicely. Does mine look pretty too, Mommy? Of course it does, Samia. The goddess will be pleased. I appreciate the festival, of course, but I'm always excited to see the finished quilt. Its colors and patterns are different every year. I'm gonna run all over your- Oh, you won't let me. You might wonder what this old tradition is about. We're sewing this moment in time into a tapestry, so those of us who leave will always be remembered. Today we celebrate the Festival of Ribbons in honor of our great mother, Dea. Each one of us decorates a ribbon patch, and from those patches, we sew a beautiful quilt. Life might not always fit the pattern, but in the end it will all come together like a beautiful quilt. Okay. Now they're having a happy little goddess party. Ugh. I can feel a migraine coming on. You again. Yep, it's me again. Good news! We found somebody to help us unlock the tidal vortex. Good news indeed. I also came across some more stuff at the back of my tent. Why don't you take some off my hands? It'll make my journey home all the lighter. Okay. Uh, increase the maximum amount of embroideries equipped. Uh, I'll use yours the pattern weave class to fast stitch a pattern resembling a large blossom. Increase the refill made of stitching moves. Tracks floating thread. A large thread spindle which greatly, greatly increases the amount of thread essence that can be held at a time. We want that. Yes. That's basically a wallet upgrade. Um, I would like you. That would be very, very nice. Um, I should probably get this since it's a big upgrade. And I don't particularly care about the new pattern thing. So let's just uh, do this. All right, there we go. We almost have everything from you. Uh, it was a Y. So we got, we can equip a new one of these. Uh, so let's go ahead and equip that. And we got the vestige pattern resembling a small blossom. Yeah. I mean, that's better than that. I mean, I mean, uh, that, yeah, that's better than the other one I got. Okay. Cool. So if we talk to you, what happens? Ah, hey there, buddy. Just as I was trying to sneak past, Mori caught me and made me throw out all my stuff. She's scary. Anyway, let's open the way to the Tidal Vortex. South of the village, hard to miss. I'll fly ahead. Don't make me wait too long, okay? See you there. 
Man, I wish I knew what the solution to that puzzle was, but... Alas. I also hope you keep your stock throughout the game so I can get those last few things that I uh, didn't get. Hopefully. Hopefully I do see you again, because uh, I can't afford all of your stuff right now. Um, but I would like to get them all. So hopefully you show up again later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the statue, Myths of Our World, Chapter 1, 200 years, tied years ago, the old ones brought us to life. Born into a world as harsh as the stone pillars which pierced the sky, we struggled to endure. From their own delusions, the old ones stood at the cusp of calamity, threatening to tear the world asunder. The turmoil, a young deity arose and spun the world anew so that we could be free. And with the calamity passed, the old ones vanished. I think we've read that before, but I wanted uh, a little bit of a refresher. Ooh, hi. Uh, yep. Thank you kindly. Uh, okay, that was just the sparkly from the heart. Okay, so you're going this way. I can see. There you are, my child, so eager to fathom the mysteries of the world. What? Who are you? Who I am? Oh, Tass, I am the weave which embraces the world and its protector. Through the centuries, there have they have found many names for me. You, my child, may call me D. D or Dea? I don't know. I think I think I like Dea because that's like it almost sounds like deity. I guess D would be D E E. I'm gonna go with Dea. No way, this is so real. Oh God! Oh please, please. That was a good one, though. Surreal, so... yeah. I must warn you, this world poses harsh trials and is full of dangers which might hurt you or break your heart. Are you sure you are ready? I'll be careful. But no matter what I have to face, I need to find my family. If it is a family you seek, there is no way to mend this hole. I am a caring mother to all my children of this world. Thanks, I guess, but I need to do this. I can't be the only one of my kind, I just... I don't want to believe that I am. And as long as I am here, no harm will come his way. Very well. Go on, my child. Know that I shall watch over you. Alright, later. Later, Arceus. Whoa, that was freaky. Was that really the goddess? She certainly looked the part, but she had a strange aura to her. Oh, she seemed nice to me. Alright, well let me grab that HP there. What's down this way, huh? Ooh, a treasure. Uh, what you got? It's a pulsing orange ribbon. Okay, we can't go that way. Uh-huh. I think the game vibrates, I mean, I think the controller vibrates even when there's just like a treasure chest nearby or something. Because it was vibrating there too. She needs just to let you know something is nearby. <clears throat> well, hello. Hey, buddy. What took you so long? I already thought you ditched me. Yeah, we kind of got held up there by the actual goddess. Sure, and I was hanging out with a talking woolly. Anyway, this is the tidal vortex. Remember, this is one-way street. We ain't coming back here. You ready? Yeah, I suppose so. I don't know how to solve that one puzzle, and I don't want to grind essence to get that other item from the shop. So... The Spun Forest, Chapter 2. Cool. Neato. Phew, we made it. Welcome to the Spun Forests. An exciting place full of things that try to eat you. Okay. Neato. So are you actually in my squad now? Can I switch? No. Yeah, I can't switch. Wow, what a beautiful monument. That's a weaver shrine. It is used to call weavers from afar. A weaver shrine? How does it work? It's basically an amplifier. We weavers feel the vibrations of the threads beneath us. If you use certain high-pitched tones on a shrine like this, the sound waves can... Mm-hmm. And not gibberish, that means you get up there, whirl a weaver flute around, and we'll come flying to you. If we feel like it. Let me show you. I'll fly out of sight, then hop onto the shrine and call me with my flute. Got it? Okay, but I only have Dad's flute. Ah, right. Here you go. Twill. Sound the flute to call Twill, the reckless archaeologist. 
Phil is well aware of her impulsive behavior and tries earnestly to become a more considerate member of society. She just hasn't been very successful yet. She's gone. Now use Twill's flute at the shrine. Ah, now you're on my back. Let's go explore this gnarly forest together. I'll let you fly together, but no tricks, no risk taking, and no funny business. Yeah, Dad, I get it. I wasn't talking to you. Eh, scared I'll show you up. I hate to break it to you, but that already happened. <sighs> well, I'm off until you call me. See ya, champ. Alright, so what do you do? What are your abilities? Uh, let's open this up and see if we can... Sound the flute the call twill... Okay. I imagine you have... You're a different class, right? So... You probably have some different abilities? I'm just not sure what those are yet. I mean, your, your, your like, thread ability is different. It's just a straight line. So... Let's go ahead and uh, see that in action. Why don't we? Uh... Okay, yeah, so it just goes in a straight line and fills everything in. Gotcha. Yeah, we were seeing you leave that stuff all around. Boom. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm glad that that stuff floats into me now. It's so much easier. Can I get rid of all of you grass? So I can actually see what's going on here. Okay, I don't think there's anything over there. But we can go under these things like we could those other things. Uh huh. So there. Then there. Um. Then here. Uh. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh. Oh, it probably wants this. Then this. Then, uh... This. This. Yes. Uh... I'm imagining like this? Oh. Well, that's awkward. Uh... Uh-huh. And yeah. Yeah. Okay, what is going on here? I'm a, I'm a bit confused as to what's happening here. I think what it's saying is these need like one thread whereas the where, whereas like the other one need other ones need two. So these need one, which I imagine just means we go like that. Right? Uh, and then you want more than that. Uh, boom. 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 Whoops, did that wrong. Okay, so there, there, and there. And then here, here, here. Oh boy, this is harder than it looks. I'm going to be honest. Okay, okay, I think I have a grasp on what is actually going on here now. Um, so these rings mean that's how many connections you can have to each of these. So, on these with one, you can only have one connection. So, we gotta find a way to do this to where there's only two connections on all of these, which... It's gonna be kind of hard, I feel. <laughs> because here, I need, like... Hmm... I don't know. We're we're gonna we're gonna keep going and see if we can figure this out. Okay, okay, I've made some progress. So these you connect together because this one can only have two, so you have to connect it to these two to make sure that these two back ones here have two connections going to them. 
So you have to make like an M on both sides. And then I think we just connect all of these together now. And we should be good. Yes. Okay. Okay. See, I just didn't understand what the like weird symbol thing meant. I didn't, I didn't get that at all. I, I was like, what does, what does that mean? Was that required progress or was that a secret? That was required progress, it looks like. All right, well, I'm glad I figured it out. So yeah, the solution is to make an M on each side. Yeah, I, I just didn't understand what these like weird little purple things meant. I didn't understand what was going on there. And uh, it took me quite a bit to figure it out. But we got there. We got there eventually. Eventually. So... Let's keep uh, going this way, no? Trying to see if there's any secrets hiding up here. Doesn't... Uh? Okay, what is this? Oh. Hi. Uh-huh. Always touched by divinity, yet... Uh... Okay, I didn't- I didn't pull this one far enough away. A goddess, not. Born from determination of a lost civilization. So, always touched by divinity, but a goddess not. So you're not an actual goddess, is what you're saying? Were you- and it said you were born of the determination of a lost civilization. So are you like, you a- are you a civilization manufactured goddess, basically? That's what it sounds like. That's the idea that they're trying to push here. Kind of like a god created by humanity. Interesting. Uh-huh. Get me, please, out of here. Thank you. Alright, cool. So, well, we've done that. And I'm going to get back over there to where progress actually is. So that I know this is where we got to go next time. So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Weaving Tides, and I'll see you next time.